Greetings, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel on this Cyber Weekend. And really, it's Cyber Week without the end because it ironically doesn't end on the weekend. It ends after seven days and it feels like it's been around forever. And yet, at the time of recording this, there's still five days left. Now, by the time this hits my channel, there'll probably be four days left because, spoiler alert, I spend a lot of time grading student projects behind the scenes because I really am a college professor. Believe it or not, somebody trusts me to teach media. And because of that, I don't have time to spend all day recording videos, so I'll work really hard for a couple hours, usually late at night. My best recording goes between the hours of midnight and 2 a.m. because I'm hashtag Team Insomnia. And then I'll spread out the videos over the course of that day to have something guaranteed to reward my subscribers for well subscribing and to make sure that there's content that is being produced, even if it only gets 100 views, you know? It's still content that I know I can drop to keep people um, I, I think it's like a reward. You know, if you're if you're subscribed to somebody who never publishes, it's sort of like expecting uh, Easter eggs at an Easter egg hunt, and there are no eggs to hunt. Weird analogy, I know. But um, I've done most of my rank-ups so far in a somewhat predictable and, dare I say, even formulaic way. These are my current rank fours at the time of recording this video. Most of them... Except for maybe my top champ, ironically, Falcon. Pretty much what everybody would do. Corvus, Hercules, Black Widow, Clairvoyant, Cosmic Ghost Rider, Thighs, Archangel, Mega Red, Colossus, Mortal Abomination, Null, Cap Infinity War, Ultron, Nick Fury, and he will be awakened no matter what. I don't care if I have to use a generic on him, but hopefully I'm getting a Cosmic Awakening Gem in my last prayer because I have one more at the time of recording this. All Father Odin's Vault, Six Star Awakening Gem Crystal to purchase. Cosmic is very difficult for me to land on lately for that. Mutant, very easy, unfortunately. Uh, so, with that being said, my next rank four is not going to be a prestige champion. Not that these are anyway, but he's the opposite of prestige champion. His prestige is pathetic. But my goodness, is he one of my favorite champions, and I think he is the most underrated champion in the game. And I say that every time somebody asks me, and I feel like, at least once a week, somebody will come on my live stream and they'll say, Prof, who's the most underrated champion in the game? And you know what? I'll scroll all the way down. All the way down. All the way down. And at the second to last bottom row, I say Red Hulk. I say Red Hulk is one of the most, if not the most, underrated champion in the game. And you'll notice that I have three tier six basic and three... Uh, tier 3 Alpha in my overflow. Well, he's not going to have the highest PI. In fact, his PI after this will be about as high as quite a few of the champions that I have at rank 3. But that's not what's important. What's important is that he not only is a sneaky good Battlegrounds attacker. I mean, Defender not so much. Particularly when you're fighting him with Suicides and you can just wait for him to spam the special one like uh, you would if you fought him. But I would never put him on defense. That would just be terrible. But fighting against people like Man-Thing, fighting against people like Scorpion, whoo, yes, please. Yes, please. Now, I will also point out that my Red Hulk is not that high of SIG. So he'll get to 19,000 eventually if I land on him enough. Um, but if we look at overall, my... Uh, my six stars, I mean, so many of these people. Look at Red Guardian, Namor, Guillotine 2099, certainly Doctor Doom, Elsa, Ebony Coleslaw. They're all rank three. I don't, I don't think I can think of a better example of somebody being rank three or rank four but looking like they're rank two than Magneto. But he is just SIG 20. I finally awakened him in the last couple months. But... Doesn't matter to me. What matters to me is that he is now rank four. And he's kind of like Falcon. People will be like, Falcon? He's he's a waste of a rank four. I've heard that several times from people. Falcon's a waste of rank four, Prof. You're, you're leading the YouTube community astray. Well, first, I say this always. If there's a champion that you love, that you use every day, screw what everybody else says about the, the mainstream consciousness of rank ups. Rank up who you want to play with. Just make sure you use them. That's why, unfortunately, even though he's a great Battlegrounds defender for the most part, the rank four, like if, if you were to ask me, Prof, if you could rank down somebody to rank three and rank somebody else up to rank four, probably would be null. I just don't use him on offense. 
put him on defense, and I guess I should be thankful for that. But I just don't. However, this guy, especially now that he has 47,000 health and 6,000 attack, will be used a lot. So many nodes now like to combine incinerate and poison and just make you miserable eventually no matter what. Red Hulk absorbs all of them and just uses them to hit harder. If that's not a cheat code, I don't know what it is. So, this was a rank up for me. And the amazing thing, too, to end this is that when I go to my catalyst and I claim the max, I can actually see that I have still in my inventory after my latest rank 4 24 tier 5 basic, maxed out tier 6 basic, and tier 3 alpha. So I'll have three more rank 4 opportunities in the next couple of days because I still have uh, more than one of each of these to purchase. And on top of that, that means that I have now completed officially to end this video. Because I've already done three this weekend. Six, 12, 16. I have 16 rank fours. This was for me, and I couldn't be more excited. Also, uh, random fa fun fact, the last chapter I have uh, to do, because I've been having fun finally getting this variant done, is the chapter where it really rewards you for using, what do you know? Hulk, She-Hulk, Hulk Rag, and Immortal Hulk. So, just saying. Shout out to all the Hulks. Love them. And Hulk's getting a buff. Maybe I'll just wait till Hulk gets a buff to do that path. I don't need the items. It's just kind of something fun to do. Alright, YouTube. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.